All right, welcome back. On this video, I'm going to be talking about a checklist. What's a checklist? Well, whenever you're doing something that's kind of like you're not familiar with it, or you, you're just being introduced to it, or you know the results that you want, but you are not exactly certain the order that the ingredients are supposed to be added, then if you have a checklist, then you can just scratch things off as you go, right? And you'll know you have it. Think about it like if you're going to cook um, a meal. I'm not really a cook or anything like that. But I know that if you're going to cook a certain type of cake or a certain type of uh, stew, it requires certain ingredients. And people who know, people who know, <laughs> can tell if you left those ingredients out. Now, sometimes you can fool some of the people some of the time, but it's not possible to fool all the people all the time. So, if you want to go into what I call the comfort zone, you want to do that by doing things that are the way they should be done. In other words, that way you don't have to wonder if you did something, right? Like, if you're going to cook uh, a cake and you need eggs, you need uh, flour, you need milk, you need whatever else ingredients I don't know but if you can check those ingredients and, and you have all those the cake should come out a certain way right but if you leave either one of those out the people that know are gonna say wait a minute there's no eggs in this cake or wait a minute there's no milk in this cake right and they and that's what you want you want to be able to detect that and by you being able to detect that, wait a minute, there's something left out. That makes you an expert at what you do. Right, right. Now, you don't need to know everything. You don't need to know everything to become an expert. And you're going to always remember, you're going to be constantly learning. So when I hold the, hang the banneker that says, I'm an expert and I've only been doing this for six months, then I am an expert to a certain degree. Because when you look at if you think about how many hours you spend doing something, if you spend a hundred hours studying a specific niche or a specific topic, you're going to be real good at that specific niche or specific topic. A hundred hours is not a lot of hours. But there are people who spend thousands of hours doing what they do. So you can imagine their level of understanding, their level of knowledge, right? But it's kind of difficult to do that if you don't enjoy doing what you do or just actually love doing what you do. Which is why I uh, am an ad advocate for being a consultant today in the 21st century. Because even though I'm a consultant, it took a while for me to actually feel this way about other people. Because I don't want people to go down a path that is not for them. I want to kind of guide them on a path that they enjoy and that they can grow in. And that can be based on what they know, like, or would like to know more about, right? It's not difficult to do that nowadays. It's actually very, very simple because you have so many uh, avenues of gaining information about that certain topic. And that's one of the benefits to you. You can do it at home, you can do it at work, you can do it on the bus, you can do it in the car, you can do it wherever you are because you have access to that type of uh, technology. And that's a great thing, that's a great thing. And I uh, employ you to decide what it is you would like to gain knowledge on and follow my company and let me help you become an expert on that. Let me help you create products let me help you to set up your system so that you can live your life and base your income on what you do. Now, when that happens, that's going to be a shift in the way you think. Because normally people think about going and getting a job and working for someone else and putting all those hours in for another company. But just imagine, if you will, just for a second, that you could, all those hours you spend working for someone else, you could spend those hours working for yourself. You not only would be an expert, but you would be able to leave all that that you've accumulated and all that you've acquired to your children, to your grandchildren, you know, to your siblings or whoever's left once you're gone, right? And you've created a legacy 
because we all create a legacy in one way, shape, fashion, or form or another. It just may not be the best that we could have been. And it's only because you haven't been uh, instructed or given the opportunity to think this way opposed to that way. You know, it's, it's nothing else. Nobody's smarter than nobody else when it comes to starting a business or growing a business. It's just you're not around the right people and you're not studying the right information. Simple as that. But once you get that understanding and once you start to do that, what will happen is your confidence will build. You'll start to feel good about who you are. You'll still start to feel good about what you're doing. And as you do that, people can see that in you. And as people see that in you, then you'll start to see that in yourself more. And when you see that in yourself more, you start to put your thoughts on a different level. You, you don't think so much about well, he's got this and I don't have that, or he's got this and I would like to have that. No, 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 no. You, you start to want to help people more. So you want to uh, under, you understand that what you have is enough. And when I say enough, it, it, it's, you can always add to that. But you have to be happy where you are. You have to be content where you are. You're not happy once you get to. That's not the way it works. You can be happy as well as having that but you're not going to, when you get that Bentley or when you get that $500,000 home or when you get that whatever it is that you identify with as being the pinnacle it, that's not what makes you happy it's not that it's the journey to that that makes you happy it can't be something material that you know or, or you know tangible like that that just shifts the way you your joy is no but it's not it doesn't work like that Sorry. <laughs> Listen, I'm going to create some more videos for you guys. I hope you're enjoying what I'm sharing because what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get you to see how simple this is for you. You can do the same thing. You can do the exact same thing I'm doing and make money from it. I'm just being me. This is who I am. This is what I do. This is what I learn. This is what I know. And this is what I'm willing to share with you so that it can help you build confidence in you so they can help you build an income for you so that they can help you realize that getting a job and working for someone else isn't always the way. Speakinglarry.com